tips for first time horse owners, knowing and understanding the different gates. So there are three basic gates and there's variations of each of them, but there's three basic ones that you ought to know. The first one is what we call a walk. Everyone's seen a horse walk, right? When your horse is just walking for you, it's like a four beat gate. And if you listen to it, you hear one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And so that's what a walk looks like. The second gate is going to be a trot. And that's what we call a two beat gate. When your horse trots, you're going to hear those feet moving in diagonal pairs. So it's going to sound like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm going to show you what that looks like. When I send my horse off at the trot, One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And so that's what a trot looks like. And then finally, the last gate or the third gate that's really important for you to understand is what's called a canter. Or you might hear it referred to as a lope. And when we have our horses canter or lope, it's actually a three beat gate. And there's a moment of suspension where they are actually floating in the air. So I'm gonna push her into a trot. And then I'm gonna push her into a canter. And you can see how she's kind of floaty. And that's what a canter looks like. It goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And after that third beat, there's a, that, that fourth beat, which is silent, is like a moment of suspension where they're gliding through the air. That's why when you're cantering, it kind of feels like you're flying because literally your horse, every stride is jumping off the ground and pushing you forward. And it's a really cool and comfortable gait to ride when your horse has been taught to do so properly. So three main gates, walking, trotting, and cantering. And the more that you experience and practice going in and out of those gates, the more comfortable you're gonna be with identifying and recognizing which gate you're in.